All righty. There we go. Okay, so um, today what we're doing is I've got two systems here. This one has a broken hinge, but everything looks like it's working, which is just hopefully the ribbon cable looks okay in here and I can swap it out into this one because this one has these uh, unsightly black spots on the top. The one with the broken hinge also has sticky buttons. Um, they don't really press very easily. They don't register when you push them. So I'll have to have a look at that as well at a later time. But to replace the top screen, I have to actually disassemble the whole unit. So I have to take two units apart and put one back together at least. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so I'm going to start off disassembling the one with the broken hinge because that I'm going to take all apart, put all the pieces off to the side and keep them separate from my good one over here. Alrighty. Alright, this one. I've got my work desk is set up a bit differently today. I've rearranged my camera. Hopefully that works a bit better than yesterday's effort. And I realized what was causing the problem with the camera auto-focusing and causing headaches is the silicon mat I had down. For some reason the camera freaked out every time it was in shot. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's begin here. Um, I'm using a Philips double zero to get into the battery cover. Take the battery out. Oh, sorry. There's two screws under here. What I discovered was this one I don't have to take out yet. This one's in the motherboard, but it's completely free of the out of ca outer casing. There's two more Phillips head screws under these pads. So I'll get to those now. Uh, hello, whoever's watching. Um, can you let me know if the audio is okay? Take these two screws out of here. And now I have to switch tips, and this one is a Y00. And I think there's four of these ones. Oh, that's grotty. I think there's going to be a fair bit of dust in here judging by that screw. Okay, so one, two, three in the corners and then there's this one here it, just above the slot for the DS game cartridges. Alright, great. Then what I like to do is just lift up a little bit from the back end here holding the L and R shoulder buttons down and then I grab my little tool here and just gently come on it never goes as smoothly when you're on camera Gonna say just gently pull over here and it'll just pop out. <laughs> Never. There we go. Am I missing something today? I 
There we go. I'll hold those L and R buttons down and pull the top cover off. There was a, there's a rattle in here as well. I forgot to mention, they both do it actually. A little bit of a rattle, but my good one that I made earlier, no rattle. So, um, yeah, I was hoping to find out what that is. Um... Alrighty, now I'm going to take these shoulder buttons off. Now the difference between me taking them off now and them coming off when I take the bottom cover is this way I have more control and I can keep the assembly all together. Alrighty. Alright. So I've got to change my bit over again. There's no more wires inside here, just Phillips. I only have security bits on the outside. There we go. And then we have a few other things to dismantle here. There's the Wi-Fi antenna. And the microphone cable. Uh, let's see if I can reach this. There's a little clip here for the. Oh, we don't need to take that off. That's for the bottom screen. We can leave that on. That's just for the digitizer of the touch screen. I believe we should be able to just pop all of that out and bend it this way I'll just pop these buttons out so they don't surprise me and then down there I wonder if it was just the buttons shaking around. Anyway. So there's a clip here. There we go. And just gently. Ooh, he's in tight today. And gently pull out this cable. There we go. Now I forgot to actually pull this Wi-Fi cable through and I don't think it'll be too hard. It's usually fairly easy. There we go. And that's it. The bottom board is free. Um, not much to say about it really. I do have to remember to come back and look at the shoulder buttons. I might have to clean up the contact on the inside or find a replacement button to put on there. Alrighty, so now we can undo the hinge. And then this cable, there's a little slit through. There's a little slit in there that the cable can just fall straight into. If I can line it up.
This part's so tricky. Everything to do with the top screen is just just a little bit difficult. Alrighty. Sorry, my new camera setup means that sometimes my head gets in the way. There we go. We are so lucky that even though it had a broken hinge, that ribbon cable just looks beautiful. I don't see any pinch points. Nothing. It's very nice. Alrighty. I had a pair of pliers. I have a feeling my son might have grabbed them though. Hmm. Oof. Wrong tool, guys. Wrong tool. Alrighty. Just got to get this cable through that little sleeve. Maybe I don't have to get it through as long as it's out. And this side just comes off. Now there's four little screws under this pads. I had it then and it dropped back down. There we go. Three. Four. Four pads, four screws. I'm moving a bit fast I do have another video on my YouTube channel of the first one that I pulled apart that goes substantially slower but it uh, I talk through every move that I did exactly how I, how I got in and out of everything alrighty which way this slides a little bit there we go and then from there you should just be able to Pull him out. There we go. Alright, I am going to need to get that cable through that collar. So I've got to wind up the cable tight enough to go through the collar, but not so tight that I damage it. There we go. Just sit it like that for a second and then this top screen should just gently peel out. It's just stuck on with a little bit of glue. There we go. Some adhesive of some kind. That's always the bit at the bottom that scares me the most. 
because I don't want to crack it. I mean, it doesn't matter if I crack this one. You know what I could have done is just left the screen intact and just... No, the other one looks nicer. But I can leave this bit here. Just as it is. Put these speakers back in. Alright, so that's... That's that. I'm going to leave it there. going to use the same faceplate and just pop that in the other one. Alrighty. Just, um, there we go. Just got to bag up these things so I don't lose them. Alright, I want all the shoulder buttons and the button buttons in a bag. hinge out and put the pads all right they're all together and then Outer screws. And my inner screws. That way I don't get them mixed up. I'll just keep those ones there for the top cover. We'll see. I don't think I'll need them, but sometimes things happen. Over here, out of the way. I can go over there. Alrighty, the first half is done. We've just taken apart one and separated the top screen. And now, time to take apart the second one. This is the one I want to keep, so... it I mean, it looks beautiful. There's barely any scratches on it. And I think... The screen we just recovered... I don't know. This one is nicer. Maybe I should pull it apart a bit more. I will. I will pull it apart. Let's not be lazy. I don't need to take the Wi-Fi chip with me, but I do want the screen out. There we go. And the ribbon cable stuck, of course. There we go. Okay, ribbon cable's out. Uh, just check that I haven't broken anything. Looks okay. Speakers look good too. Alrighty. Now... Let's do the second one. I mean, 20 minutes, 
So it's not bad. That's a whole, what? I think that's half the time it took me for, to do the first one. Alrighty, take the battery out. I have my Phillips head, so here we go. I'm just going to race through this one. I'm not going to stop at every moment and explain it all this time. I think if I make it a video, I will perhaps I'll fast forward this bit. Cut my nails the other day, of course. There we go. Interesting. Anyway going. Does this look different to you? Look. Okay.
All right, new record. Uh, God, not even 10 minutes. Excellent. All righty, new speakers and new screen. It's always the scariest part. There we go. I did have a marker in here. There it is. Always, always, always mark the faulty items if you're not going to throw them straight in the bin because the last thing you want to do is think that it's a good one. Pop it in there. All for naught. Alrighty. So I'm going to try and get these cables in in the middle here. Missed one. There we go. And then, so putting it all together is just the reverse of taking it apart. And I've not had to do a top screen reassembly yet. Put this collar on. go perfectly in place sorry when my head was in the way of the camera all over again my goodness alrighty speakers in Wi-Fi's in speaker cables are behind the tape okay No, this one.
what's going on. Perfect. All right. Oh, look, we've got a couple of viewers now. Sweet. So I've just taken apart two DS lights and just reassembling the housing for the screen that I want to keep. Hopefully it all comes together well and then we will have a singular working DS light. I will get around to repairing the other one as well, but I don't have any spare parts. So all I can do is take apart the consoles that I have on hand and try and make as many work as possible. Lovely, lovely. We're going to tempt fate by putting the pads back too. Hopefully I don't have to open it up again. Is the audio good guys? I'm going to assume it's good. Alrighty. Doesn't that look nice? Now for some more tricky trickies. I apologize in advance if my head gets in the way again. I have to take these buttons out otherwise they're just going to go everywhere so if I feed these two wires in first then I have to curl up the ribbon cable again and try and get it through that little slit there's a little hole there we go Perfect. So see there's a little sort of a, a line that's cut into the casing so that you can get this tiny little ribbon cable in there. Alrighty. Now this hinge can be a bit silly. Last time I put the hinge in, it was absolutely just all backwards. So it can be 180 degrees wrong. There we go. And we just test it. Oh, I got it right first go. Sweet as. Grab some long screws.
Hmm. Alrighty. Oops, come on, try and get these buttons back in. The buttons are keyed, so you can't put them in the wrong spot, which is handy. There we go. Every time. These start and select buttons don't like me. I always, always lose one. But that's okay. Because I've got another one here. Here we go. Excellent. So now I have to try and get this little ribbon cable. Back into that little, little pluggy thing there. Use too much force because you could bend the cable. It's actually so fiddly this bit. Oh, I had it in and everything. Right, be easier with the microscope on. Moving up. Alrighty. You can see what I'm up against. There we go. Look at that. First try. Lock it in, Eddie. Oh, 
Excellent. All right. Well, that's the hardest part. Now I've got to run the white wire goes in this channel. Oh, turn that microphone away. There's a channel underneath the screen that the white wire runs through. And the black one pops up over here as well. Yep. Perfect. Popped in perfectly there. Excellent. Everything's going really, really well, guys. Didn't need any of the screws from the other console. This will be a tricky bit too. So now I have to pass this little wire underneath the DS cartridge slot. And sometimes it goes easy and sometimes it gets stuck. There it is. That time went pretty well. There we go. Plug him back in. microphone in <laughs> now for some shoulder buttons These springs feel so strong. So I wonder if they're actually brand new, like someone maybe has re replaced them already. Oh, that feels good. Okay, so it's very important here, the slidey switches for the volume and the power are in the right spot on the case. Because if not, they won't work when you put it back together. So this one I put all the way to the edge. This one has to go there. Uh, 
right, it feels right. I'm just going to test it quickly, test the power button. Great, and the volume, yep. And there we go. It's working. Beautiful. Well, that was a complete success. Take that battery out, put the screws back in and we're all done. Excellent job guys, excellent. Well, thank you very much for keeping me company while I do this. Today we took apart two Nintendo DS Lite consoles and completely took them apart and then reassembled one into a fully working unit. From the ashes it has risen. Alrighty. Um, always remember this one. Buy the card slot. Change my bits out. The small one goes in the battery compartment and it's very silver. And then there's two slightly longer ones that are more of a gold color. They go behind the foot pads. It's pretty important to get all the screws back in the right places and not to over tighten them. Battery in. Put the foot pad in. Hello, Eagle Saw. Yeah, the little ones are doing really well. They're in bed at the moment. Two feet. And we know it works. Let's check left shoulder button. Woohoo! Uh, touch screen. All this setup stuff is pretty boring. Just spam the A button until you get all the way through. I think I have a game here somewhere. There we go. Need my stylus. Where's my stylus at? Might have to see if we can calibrate the touch screen. Pop the game in. It's pretty bright on the screen, isn't it? Do, 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 do. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Beautiful, eh? It's working. Yeah. All good. Game over. Alright, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you next time. I'm active on Twitter in particular and Facebook. 
YouTube, Twitch, it's all uh, Instagram, Sparky Face 5. All right, see ya.